Welcome back to Fun Sketch Friday. I've been hanging out in my garden recently and there have been a lot more butterflies so I thought this week we'll have a go at drawing our own butterfly. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can click the subscribe button underneath and you can also click the bell to make sure you get notifications every time we post. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. So let's start drawing a butterfly together and then you can finish it in your own way. We're going to start with the middle bit of the butterfly, the body, which is sort of like a sausage shape and I've made it slightly wider at the top compared to the bottom but you can change that slightly on yours. To start I'm going to draw a line coming up in a diagonal and then I'm going to continue drawing as if I'm drawing the number three. Can you see that? It looks like the number three. Then I'm going to turn the piece of paper round and draw a three on the other side, trying to make it match a little bit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't The both wings don't need to be exactly the same. In fact, it's more interesting if they're not. Turn it back round again. Now I'm going to add the antennae. You can do this however you want as well. I'm going to do two circles, but I might change them to spirals or to stars or something later on. Right, this is where we're going to stop drawing together and now it's your turn to decide how your butterfly will look. Will you fill the wings with patterns, for example? What colours might you want to use? Are you going to use paint or colouring pencils or are you going to use collage, which is bits of paper or magazines cut up and stuck down? What colours are you going to use in the background or are you going to leave it plain? You might even decide to do a surreal butterfly, which means that you add bits into your drawing that don't normally belong there. Like maybe you'll fill the butterfly wings with fish or with buildings in a city. OK, are you ready to have a go? Pause the video here and continue your butterfly in your own way. Ready, steady, go sketch. Right, now it's my turn. Hmm, what shall I do with my butterfly? I'm going to start by going over it in pen. I think I'm going to add some patterns to the body now. One thing to remember when you're using pen is it looks really interesting if you can use different thickness of lines. So for example, I've used a thin line all the way down. So I'm now going to add little bits of thicker line all the way down the pattern. And I've done it on the edges of where the curve, where it curves round. I've made that bit a little bit thicker. And you can see already it looks a lot more interesting. So I'm going to do the same on the wings. I'm going to come up with a pattern. I think I'm going to base it on circles and semicircles, and I'm also going to add some thicker lines within it. There you go, there's my black and white butterfly. I don't think I want to add colour to this butterfly. I think I'm just going to keep it black and white. I could put some colour in the background, for example. Let's change the background. Three, two, one. There you go, I've changed the background as well. I'd be really interested to see how your butterflies turned out. Please email them to me, as always, emma at gosketch.co.uk. You can also go on our Facebook page and post them there. We love to see them. Also, as always, if you haven't already, join our Go Sketch Club newsletter. You get a free 30-day doodle challenge that you can print out and do at home. You get notifications of any live classes that we're doing, and we're always launching new courses. So you'll get all of that information as well, including some competitions and loads more. Definitely worth joining. Click the link underneath the video. If you have any ideas for what you want us to do on Go Sketch Friday, please email me, emma at gosketch.co.uk, and I will see you next week for another Fun Sketch Friday. Bye!